These storms are moving in pretty quickly. They're moving up to the north and then sliding to the east here. So right now, if you're north of downtown, uh, you're the likelihood that you're going to get a lot of rain out of this right now is uh, is pretty low. I do see some additional development that is popping up ahead of it. Uh, those are going to be kind of speckled here, but otherwise this main batch right here is likely going to make its way through more in the next couple of minutes. It's, it's approaching more right now. It's already down by the airport. Uh, it's going to keep making its way towards the east here and then coming down towards around Sooner Elementary School. That's going to be just south of I-240 down by the Oklahoma Heart Hospital, just south of um, uh, Tinker Air Force Base. And then as you make way down towards Sooner Road here uh, at about 420 or so. So watching these storms as they continue to advance to the east, but right now none of these are severe warned, but some areas that do stand out to me where I could see an increase will be right here. Uh, that's going to be basically looking in towards eastern Cleveland County and then as you go east of Paul's Valley and then up towards Holdenville. This is an area that stands out to me right now as uh, you'll you'll notice there's not really a whole lot of storm activity uh, south and southeast of here. So you'll get some little bit more inflow for these storms to increase their intensity as they move in towards south sides of the metro. Again, severe thunderstorm watch is an effect does not include Oklahoma City, but it does include more Norman and down to the south. And this goes up until 8 a.m. So we are keeping a, a, a real mindful watch on every single radar scan that comes through here. Uh, while this is a severe thunderstorm watch, you can get some brief tornadoes that can pop up from time to time here. So right now the intensity uh, is just barely below severe level criteria. We are finding some pockets of winds that are going to be in the range of about 40 to 45 miles per hour, mainly across Grady County, and that will eventually come in towards Norman.